Hello guys, how's everybody doing at the Craft and Nook? Okay, today I am doing an experiment, somewhat of an experiment, because I had one of my subscribers ask me um, about the Pearlex Mica Powder. Today I'm going to use the Jacquard Pearlex Magenta. And they wanted to know how would it work, you know, against... The May, May Springs, I'm going to use the Tropical Blue. So I'm going to leave those two there. I have my resin already prepared. I'm going to use a lot of clear so that we can see the effects of how both of them work. Okay? So. That's exactly what I'm going to do. How much did I put in there? 15, almost 15 milliliters. I have four ounces in each cup, okay? Let's see, is that enough? Okay. So I'm gonna take, I have to measure this because we wanna see exactly um, what happens, how, how much uh, difference is it? Um, because I'm telling you, I love my May Springs I love, love, love my May Springs. And so now, I'm gonna just go ahead. I got these two clear cups because I'm gonna be using those to pour. So. Gonna take this. Let's make sure you can see this. So I have a lot of stuff on my table. Okay, never mind that. That's another project I'm doing. Okay. So, take this much of the Pearl Lakes and put it in there. Okay. I'll cover this back up. Just gonna stick it there. Wipe my spoon off again. Okay. And we're gonna go with the May Springs Tropical Blue. So can this spoon eat up? The spoon won't even fit in there. So let's see, can I do it like this? spilling Ooh. okay we're gonna go with this because I, I can't waste no May Springs okay I'm gonna wipe my spoon back off really quick by the way I am using Rockstar resin um, I think I told you all about the directions on that before you measure one-to-one -one, um, hardener to epoxy. Um, mix for three to five minutes. And uh, your working time is 30 minutes. And what else? Um, handling time is around about 24 hours, okay? Your ideal working time is around 70 to 75 degrees. So here's the pearl legs. Okay. Just gonna whip that together. Magenta is pretty. Hope I'm staying in frame on this whole thing because you know I, I want everybody to know that this is a fair test. How gorgeous that is. It's really pretty. Let's sit that there for a minute. I'm gonna go in with the May Springs. Okay. 
This is beautiful also. Okay. It's a pretty blue. I'll let you check it out. See how beautiful that is. Okay. I'm not gonna need these sticks anymore. So I just sit that there. I'm gonna take this stick out. And sit that there as well. Now what I'm gonna do, start off with, I'm gonna take and pour some clear. which I always do. So much of a habit. Pour some clear in this one. Let's see, do we have, okay. So now we have exactly two ounces each left. And let me take my heat gun really quick. Okay. Now, I'm gonna start, uh, I guess with the, um, May Springs, start right here in the middle. Okay. Put all of it in the middle. Then I'm gonna take my Pearl X and do the same thing. Pour it there in the middle. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is go back in. Let me take my heat gun and, and get rid of, pop some bubbles a little bit real quick. I gotta put it on low. Start up high. Pop some of those bubbles. Pop some of those bubbles. Okay. And just to be sure, take my lighter. I have it locked. I'll just go over it real quick. All right, now I'm gonna take and pour in the middle, right in the middle, until I get it filled. I think that's it right there. Right? Could have stood a little bit more, I think, but I've gotta go ahead. Pour my Pearl X. That's enough right there. Okay. Now, I'm not going to touch anything else. Let's go with a final torch. And we're going to see what happens. So, um, I will be back. Um, this is the end of that. As you can see, let me, let me take you down for a second. So let me take you down while I got everything still on screen. Okay. 
let you see both of them together. Oh, that light is killing me. So, I'll come here. You can see the pro, uh, I'm sorry, the May spring. You see how everything is spreading out. It's already taken some type of texture, okay? And then on the Pearl X, it's doing pretty much the same thing. It's taken on that texture, but uh, yeah, you can try to get it so you didn't see that uh, ring light. But both of them are pretty much doing the same thing pretty much the may springs is reacting really fast you see there how it's starting to spread and the pearl X is not spreading just yet but there is a um effect going on to it and back over here you see let's see can i get both of them let me turn this ring light off. If I can reach it. Okay. So, you see both of them together. The May Springs is really showing out. I That's number one, why I love May Springs. Okay? Pearl X, it's doing something, but not as much as the May spring. So I'm going to continue to see what happens. <coughs> I'm sorry. And I'll be back for the D mold. Okay. Okay, y'all. This is after 10 minutes. And I just want to want you to see what's going on. Okay. They're spreading almost equally. Um, I wouldn't say to be exact. The Pearl X is spreading quicker and the May Springs, it's spreading, but not as fast, okay? May Springs seems as though it want to um, soak up all the effects that it can, okay? you see really close how it's closing in and the pearl X it just want to spread out that's what it looks like to me it's, it's still good but the effects are not as good as that so we will continue to monitor okay crafty creators I am back and I see that this, <laughs> my favorite, has so many details. Okay, the Pearl X, I'll leave these down so that you can continue to see those. So let's demold. Um, it is right at... Uh, Harden all the way through so I said I'll just go ahead and um, demold so I can let you all see the difference between the two okay and I've got to stand up so you can see that the Pearl X has detail okay it has nice detail this is the back all right this is the front side it also has detail I'm not gonna take away from it because it is still good however I personally like the May Springs better than the Pearl X okay so you see up close you see up close there's nice detail in it so now 
we're going to sit that one there and demold the May springs. Okay. And for me, um, I've always loved May Springs. It's it's just been my favorite. Um, and see the details on the May Spring is just as good on the back like that. You see, it's just as good. All right, but when we flip them over to the front side. It's hard to see that really good detail that's in the uh, Pearl X, but you don't have to look hard at the detail in May Springs. Okay? May Springs has great detail. I love it. They're almost head to head, okay? I think it's just more on preference. I think it's more on what preference you like but they they both let me push this over they both are nice pigments okay I just love May Springs I really do and the back again you can see all of that detail every last bit of it it looks really nice okay um the resin which i use rock style rock ugh, i'm sorry rock star resin okay is rock star resin is a good resin i like that resin um it does very well but as i said move this over so you can see through it The back is just as good as May Springs. And let me, you see how May Springs, it just has everything separated. And this one does too. You can tell that both are separated. All right. But on the front, front side which is the last part that I finished pouring it has immaculate detail here you see so um, both of them are nice my, my conclusion is um, if you can't afford to Pay for May Springs. The Pearl X is just as good, okay? Because um, May Spring can tend to be a little higher, but I've also noticed um, some of these are higher too. Some of the Pearl X are higher. And um, now, as far as the name brand Jacquard, now I have just about every one of their inks. I love their inks. Their inks, I, I couldn't ask for a better ink. To me, that's what I love. That's what I use often. Now, I do have the um, a set of the Bombay inks. Um, I don't use those quite often. Um, I need to start using them, but I really don't use them that often. My top choice right now with me is Jacquard alcohol inks my top choice right now um and has been for as long as i started resining has been may spring i did try the pearl x because i wanted to you know i sometimes you want to see exactly what some another brand has to offer okay and then you also need to think about um the type of resin or epoxy that you're using uh, if you've got a, um, like I use this Rockstar resin, it was good. It did everything really good. They, they, the color spread it and, um, within 10 minutes, uh, 
you could see everything drawing in just as it was. Now here on this May spring, there is a fine circle there in the middle, fine circle on the pearl legs. It almost covered everything so that you almost don't have a circle there, okay? But at the end, I think if both of these were the same color, okay, the color pigment, I'm, I'm just saying, not the name brand, the color pigment. Some pigments weigh more than others, some don't. Um, and being that this was the only one that I had in the Pearl X, I think I may have a couple more. I'm not sure, I can't see from over here. But I do know that uh, the Pearl X is something that I, I tried and I was like, okay, you know, and I wasn't wooed by it at all. May spring, I was very wooed. I was like, yeah, that's me right there. So anyway, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this test. Thanks to my subscriber um, with her wanting to see you know, basically, what was the difference between the two? And to me, the detail is the difference. The detail is so much there. But again, like I said, if I had the same color as this May Spring, maybe you would see the detail better. But... I don't know. I, I just, I'm stuck on May Springs. Can't help it. And if it's something out there that you want me to try, like maybe Arteza and May Springs, then I'll do that one next. Or Perlix and Arteza. Or Arteza and Perlix. I mean, whatever you want me to decide. <coughs> I'm sorry. And I have Baltic Day mica powder. I mean, it, soap dye, Tekka roots, uh, Uticone, Rolio. I have a lot of different pigments, okay? But May Springs is my number one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. May Springs is my number one. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And to another thing on top of that. Okay, May Springs is an all-natural pigment, okay? It's an all-natural, and therefore, guess what? You can use it in anything that you use. You can make it for your eyelash, I mean, eye, eyebrows, eyelashes, wherever. I don't use makeup, so I may be getting some of these terms wrong, but anyway... You can use it on your skin. You know what I'm saying? It's FDA approved. May Springs is awesome. Now, pinata, it doesn't say anything about uh, natural. Um, no, it doesn't say anything about that. Avoid breathing dust, which we're going to avoid anyway use only with adequate ventilation that's what pearl X has <laughs> adequate ventilation okay so this is not the best for you and okay this was in my small uh packets but let me show you on a different one Okay. This is a, a May Springs. You know, I told y'all I was wanting the, the rose quartz. But you can see here, FDA approved for cosmetics. Natural mica, titanium dioxide, iron oxide. Okay. If you pull up this online, it'll show you the many different uses that you can use with it. 
I mean, you can you could add water to it and do water painting. You know what I'm saying? A lot of mica powder, you cannot do that. Okay? You cannot. Um, this is from the the gems line. They they've got a gems line and it's named after, you know, all the gems. But uh that's pretty much what I have now. Like I used the bronze stone into that uh the little platter tray. Remember I used the um bronze stone in this one. Okay. Um and used the uh wine what was it the the red wine the bronze stone the uh white something i i can't pronounce that other name and what else was it i think those were the and clear i think those were the three that i used but yeah guys th this stuff is good so I will see you all on the next go-round for the next video. Have a good one.